I was able to put the new Kimi K2 model into cloud code. It was able to create this whole high quality UI component library, including file explorer, text editor, app view, and resizable panels, and put together an online IDE UI like this, as well as a fully functional manual type game with just a fraction of cost of what you would normally be charged from Entropic API. And I know there are new models came out all the time, but this Kimi K2 model is something truly different. So when it comes to AI coding, Entropic Cloud has been the best model out there. There are not even many other choice. Like GPT 4.1 models coding capability is not even come close. But the issue is that Cloud 4 model cost is extremely high. I was trying to build this coding agent for Super Design Dev, and that's where I couldn't figure out how possibly we can make using those Entropic model. And that's also the point I realized all those AI coding platforms like Lerbo or Bold on You very likely are not making much profit if their customers are using the product much. But that is going to be totally changed with this Kimi K2 model. So Kimi K2 is a new open source model introduced by this AI company in China called Moonshot. It has quite impressive coding capabilities on the benchmarks, but most importantly, their price is insanely low compared with Cloud4 model or even GPT 4.1, where Cloud4 charges $3 per million input token and $15 for the output token. The Kimi K2 model charges only a fraction of it, with $0.60 cents for 1 million input token and $2.5 for the output token, which means if you switch to Kimi K2 model, you will cut cost by 80% immediately. And I did some tests, the performance of Kimi model looks really promising. It almost feels like somewhere between Cloud3.5 and Cloud4, so it is good enough, but 80% cheaper. So today I want to show you how can you use Kimi model in your own application as well as cloud code. So there are a few ways you can experiment the Kimi K2 model. The easiest one, you can just go to kimi.com, start give it prompt. Here I just give a screenshot of Twitter and ask to review the UI. It will automatically generate this pretty amazing UI replica. So you can just go to kimi.com to try it out. But on the other side, the more fun ways to use uh, Kimi K2 is obviously using their API endpoint. And the price, as I mentioned before, is pretty insanely cheap considering their performance. And the best part is that it's extremely easy to use their API because you just change the base URL and passing on API key. It would just work like a normal open AI client that you created before. But the best way to experience Kimi K2 is actually integrate that into cloud code so that it leverage both the coding capability as well as the agentic tool call capability. And the easiest way to integrate is that you can just open your terminal and do export entropic auth token equal to the API key that you got from Moonshot. So you can go to platform.moonshot.ai and generate an API key here. Meanwhile, making sure just top up some money. You can just top up $10. That would be enough for you to do a lot of things with Kimi K2's pricing. So you will do export entropic auth token equal to the Moonshot API you got. And also do export entropic base URL equal to api.moonshot.ai slash entropic. And now if you open cloud code again, you will see it is calling Moonshot API. And you will also notice that it became a bit slower than normal because Kimi K2 API is a little bit slower than Entropic. Now we can start doing some experiments. First, I want to try out the UI design capability from Kimi K2 model. So I just do PMPM DLX chassis at latest initiate to set up a new Next.js project and name the folder to Kimi UI test. Then I'll get inside Kimi UI test run cloud. And now I'll give a prompt, help me build a UI component for tree structure file explorer and show that component on the homepage. And while it is running here, I'm also going to set up a new folder called, uh, let's say Kimi game test. So I also want to test out how good Kimi will be in terms of building like more complex UI or games. I'll do CD Kimi game. And again, we're gonna explore the auth token as well as entropic base URL and just making sure this overrides message show up. So here I will give a prompt. Help me build a simple Mario game for all game assets you can find online. So I have two agents working simultaneously. Cool, so now I can try to run the project. I'll open new terminal and PMPM PM dev. So it does get some arrows and I can just copy those arrow, paste in. Cool, so after one round of tests, it's up running with no arrows and you can see the UI component created here looks really good. And I can ask it to do a bit more things as well. Also help me build a UI component for rich text editor. So the game here is ready for use. I can open in Finder and just open this. Wow, <laughs> it actually created a like functional Mario game. This is absolutely insane. And now if I switch back to the UI test, uh, it got some new error again, but I'm pretty sure I can just fix it if I paste in here. Cool, now we also have this rich text editor UI component that looks, I would say, pretty good. Uh, and it's fully functional. I can select some tests with different styles. I can even add a link here as well. So it's really awesome. I can even prompt it further to say, 
Now help me think through what other UI components needed to build an IDE type of experience. If I go to Moonshot to check how much does it cost so far to build those UI components as well as research to build this Mario game, the cost so far is less than 10 cents, which is absolutely insane. If I'm using Cloud4, I'm pretty sure it will close to at least 50 or 60 cents. And heading back, it come up with a list of different components to build this. And I can just prompt it to build some core components. Meanwhile, for the game, I can prompt the game generator to say, add more detail to the game assets and also make the map longer and more sophisticated so players can play longer. Okay, great. So after the second attempt, it does generate a fully functional game that does look like the first round of the Mario game. And if I switch back to the IDE component, you can see that here, it actually put together different components into this pretty awesome IDE UI where I can click on that and it will allow me to edit text directly. And it also had a terminal at the bottom, even though it's not functional because it's just a UI component. But hey, the quality here is actually really amazing. If I swap back to check the cost to build this Mario game, as well as this IDE UI components, only cost around 50 cents, which is absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure if you use cloud, you will expect somewhere like $2. So here is how you can use Kimi K2 model in your real world use case. Again, the, and the part I feel most exciting is that now we can build AI coding agent with a very manageable cost. I think you can totally do the same thing using Cloud Code SDK for your own AI coding agents to cut the cost by 80% immediately. And if you guys are interested, please comment below. I can make a tutorial of how to use Kimi K2 model with a Cloud Code SDK. And if you're interested, you can join next week's AI Builder Club community call where we're taking through the best practice of using Cloud Code as well as some more experience and integration with Kimi K2 model into those existing AI coding IDE. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and I see you next time.